All right, ladies and gents, grandmas, grandpas, sisters, brothers, best friends, enemies, whoever's watching, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly blur something and then track it really quick. Like you kind of see in the news, you kind of see like the perks are walking down the street and they're like, we can't show these people, but here's their face and they're walking. Like, how do they do that? This is how you do it. Obviously, there's a thousand ways you can do it. I'm just going to show you my way. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. If you do like it, subscribe. Um, so here's my wife. Uh, I tracked her really quick. Very, very dirty. I just basically threw a track on her face because she doesn't want to be shown in the video. I Actually, I didn't even ask her, um, but it's just the back of her head. Anyway, so this is it. This I'm going to show you how to do it. But again, I'm not going to use this video. I'm going to use these ducks. What? All right. So easiest way that I do it is first I go down here. Uh, after your video is already in your sequence and you're ready to go, I go over to this little item. I, I click it. I hold it down and I click adjustment layer. Uh, this basically means that it's going to fit the dimension of your video. So normally it'll be 1920 by 1080, but if you're doing a different dimension, make sure you change the dimensions. So I press OK. I take that adjustment layer that's over in my project bin and I bring it over here. Real quick to go back, if you don't see this little tab here, it's in your project bin or menu. And maybe sometimes it's really small like that. So you're like, holy shit, it's gone. Just open it up a little bit and you'll find it. But it's right there normally. It's a little half page turn thing, Majigger. So um, here you go. Adjustment layer is on here. We're ready to go. And you're like, Jason's not blurred yet. I'm like, hold your horses. I got you, buddy. So you go to your effects and you type in blur. Um, that's not how you spell blur. There you go. See all these different blurs? Play around with the one you want. They do all kinds of cool stuff. I'm just going to show you with fast blur. Go figure, because I'm showing you how to do this fast. Puns intended. All right, so the effect is dragged onto the adjustment layer, and then you go to your effects control, and boom, there it is. Fast blur. That's what you want, right? So I want to blur it like that much, and you're like, Jason, that's the whole video. I want to see everything else but the ducks. And I'm like, I got you, boo. Uh... So at this point, what I do is I, right here, I take the mask pen tool and I go over the adjust. Uh, I'm actually cutting the adjustment layer, not the effect, because right here, you'd be cutting the effect. Here's your cutting the adjustment. This is associated with the adjustment layer. Not important. Anyway, so I make my little cool circle. Again, if you're dealing with a logo or something, you might have to spend more time on, on cutting this out, but this is just a circle for me. There it is. Boom. Uh, another thing, if you want to make this look a little bit prettier, I don't know why you need it prettier, but anyway, you can go to the feathers, the uh, feather edge, and you can feather the edge out. What this does is kind of blends these edges into the background, kind of like spreads it out thin, so it's not a clear, hard cut. Um, so that's what it looked like. You see the little, you see the little edge right there. That's all it really does. Anyway, so it's good, but sometimes these pesky, pesky little ducks, they get out of your blur. And you're like Jay, what do, what do you do for that? This is what I do. Um, really, really quick. So my my video is pretty good until right about here, right? So what I want to do is at this point, I'm gonna start my keyframe. Starting a keyframe is you just click, this is actually stopwatch. I don't know if you ever noticed it, but that's a stopwatch. You click that and now it starts where um, it sets where your adjustment or your effects going to be. That's where it's always going to be. But now you're going to move it to a new time, which is let's call it right here. Pretty cool. Look. And. There it is, it's blur. Let's chop all this off. I don't want to show all this. It's just me attacking a duck. It's not that important. So anyway, so how to do it. It's a little delayed. I don't like that. So what I want to do is I kind of want to move that over. And it's kind of there. It's kind of there. So it's moving a little bit there. So let's move it down a little bit. So let's see what that looks like. Cool kind of blurred it's a little garbagey i got another cool trick to show you guys um sometimes that's annoying to go back and forth with the position what we could do um check us out i don't know if people realize this but they're trying to adjust after effects and premiere a little bit trying to be able to do the little things that both can do if you actually click this see this blue line this is key frameable so what this means is click position click this again and then if you move the time frame and move this over look at that it actually keyframes that movement. So why is that important? This is why I like to do it. Because if he's moving a lot, you can just like go through it and just just move. Go through it, move it down here, 
go through it, move it down here. It's so much quicker to do that. That's easy. So that's the two different ways you can keyframe it. Um, and that's another way you can blur it. If you guys have any other questions, just drop a comment. You guys know the deal. Um, and hit the subscribe button. If there's other things that you saw online, take a screenshot, send it to me, and I'll, I'll show you how to do it. Um, most of the things I can figure out. If I can't, then I'll just Google it myself and figure it out for you. All right, guys. Uh, thanks.